You may have felt it last night all the way from the Pacific Northwest. The UTEP Miners absolutely thumped last night, 51-13 at Boise State. Now the Miners get New Mexico home at the Sun Bowl in two weeks. So UTEP coach is probably scouting the New Mexico Lobos game tonight. I knew I was because they were playing the other team. I get paid to cover the Battle of I-25. New Mexico State and New Mexico throwing down on Albuquerque. Aggies coming in winless. Lobos looking to move to 2-0 and for the first time since 2005. Those gentlemen not wearing shirts. Late second quarter, Aggies down eight. This is third string quarterback Dino Maldonado over the middle. Do I Isaiah Garcia Castaneda, who's got the kind of speed that the law cannot enforce. 75 yards before the break, gone. And the 19-point underdog Aggies are in the ball game. Local ties, obviously, to NMSU, but UNM featuring one of the best high school players to ever come out of El Paso. That's running back here, Aaron Dumas, true freshman out of America's high school. Saw him do a lot of that around these parts. 11 yards to move the sticks. And the Lobos trying to capitalize on this drive here. Rolling the dice now on fourth and two. But Eric Marsh of NMSU coming up like Stonewall Jackson. Access denied and the Aggies take over. Now I mentioned the Aggies were playing the third string QB. Starter Jonah Johnson left the game in the first quarter. NMSU unable to generate much offense in the second half. And sooner or later, the Lobos were gonna score. That's what they do here. Terry Wilson to a completely uncovered Manny Logan Green, who's quarantining there behind the secondary. That made it 34-25. And Maldonado, well, I'll give him a credit. He played pretty well being the third-string quarterback, but his last-ditch effort under three minutes here is picked off. Led the Aggies, though, did Maldonado to more points than they'd scored all year coming in to the ballgame tonight. Final score in this one. 34-25 New Mexico over NMSU. NMSU still looking for their first win. They get South Carolina State next Saturday at home. They'll probably be favored in that one. Lobos, as I mentioned, at UTEP in two weeks, but a steep incline at Texas A&M next week. Lobos coach Danny Gonzalez, he's a fiery guy, to say the least. Here's what he said post-game, and I'm sure UTEP fans will be taking notes. Hopefully we can keep it going next week. Team that plays the hardest, the longest, has the best chance, and we're trying to establish something around here. So, I mean, they're going to go in there over there next week and embarrass us. I'm not afraid to tell our kids that. I'm not afraid to challenge our kids. They put their they put their pants on the same way we do. We, they put their shoulder pads on the same way we do. And you play every game every single Saturday. I would hope they're all wearing pants out there. Not really know how many way how many ways there are to put on pants these days.